Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial on how to get your analog stick to be able to look around in War Thunder. So say you have all your controls mapped, you're forward, you're backwards, you're strafing left and right, you're up, down, even maybe your roll. But when you want to get your analog stick to be able to look around like this, you can't figure out how to do it. Now before, the workaround used to be going to your controls, going into your aircraft if you're in an aircraft, and going to your control X and Y axes and setting those to what you want to be on your analog stick. However, this doesn't work anymore. Gaijin removed this ability, as well as when they removed the ability in the spectator camera for a look around option. So for me, I had an old Logitech controller, which I had mapped with the look around controls previously, before Gaijin removed it all. And I recently got an Xbox controller and I wanted to be able to use that because this has the triggers which I wanted to use to look up and down and I had everything mapped but I couldn't figure out how to get it to look around. Well it turned out the solution was by ripping old code from the previous file, my previous control file for the Logitech and pasting it into my Xbox controller file which I'm going to show you guys how to do here. So first things first, you're going to want to figure out what your axes are called. So you're going to want to go to your spectator camera and Let's do your look up and down controls. So you'll want to go to your auto, auto detect your axes and we'll set it to your look up and down on the analog stick. Press OK and you want to save your controls, export the file to wherever you want to export it to. I recommend going to the game installation folder and naming it whatever you want. In this case I'm calling it tutorial.blk and then we're going to save it. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to your actual War Thunder folder. For this, so you already have it open here, but if you have it installed on Steam, simply right click on Steam, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and that'll open up here. If you have installed it without Steam, the simplest way I can recommend it is if you go to your boot drive and then go to Program Files 86. If you go down to W, War Thunder is usually installed in here, in your C drive. But for me, it's installed on Steam on my F drive. Once you're in here, you'll want to find your file that you named, which I call tutorial. You can call it whatever you want, replays or something like that. And you'll want to find cam underscore vert, since we did the vertical camera movement to our controls. Here we can see the name of the axes. So this axis name is three. So we know the up and down is axis ID three. Now we want to go back into War Thunder, go to our controls, spectator camera, and we're going to want to do our left and right. So go back to your vertical controls, auto detect axes, and do your left and right on your analog stick. Press OK. You want to save it as the same. Go ahead and overwrite it. Now go back here close this, go to tutorial or whatever you named it again, reopen it, and again search for cam underscore vert. We know that your left and right is named axis 2. Now down here, this is what controls you're looking up and down and left and right in the replays. Now what I've done is I've made this as, as I've ripped this from my previous controls and my Logitech and I put them in the description for you guys you're just going to want to paste these and overwrite any of your cam x cam y and for me since mine are already named axis 2 for the left and right and axis 3 for the up and down I'm just going to leave it like this but for you say your, your left and right your, your left and right analog stick was let's say 4 change that to 4 and this was maybe 5 set that to 5 but I'm gonna set this back to 3 and so back to 2 you'll want to simply save this file go back into War Thunder open file go to your controls file and you'll want to set your vertical camera back to what you had it before so in my case it was right and then my left trigger you want to press close continue anyway and now you'll be able to look around. However, in my case, this may not be the case for you, my Y axis was inverted. So when I pushed 
the stick up, it will go down. When I push my stick down, it will go up. Some of you guys may like that, but for me, I want when my stick goes down, for it to go down, when my stick goes up, for it to go up. I also found a workaround for this. So if you take this right here, inverse B equals yes. So in my case, it was the up and down. Simply between these brackets, paste it in here. Now it doesn't have to be aligned. I like when it looks aligned though. I like it when it's aligned. It's easier to organize it all that way. Just put it in between these brackets, save the file, go back to controls, open up your controls file again, and you'll notice that your up and down is now fixed. Now if it's the same deal for your left and right, just simply paste it into cam X. Paste inverse B equals yes into your cam X. Save it, and again, go ahead and open it up in your War Thunder folder. And that is how you remap your War Thunder replay controls. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. I'm not the greatest at making tutorials, but I try. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy filming.